Man City repackage the failures. That's what they do. Look at Roy Hodgson back at fucking Crystal Palace. This is exactly what they Wait, do. How many jobs bro? did Steve Bruce get off of fucking failing at about 12 clubs before? Like, bro, you know they I mean? just keep repackaging these same losers, bro. And they think that the, like, the story is going to change. The story will not change, bruv. Mm. They are who they show you they are. Lampard has shown, man, that he's a subpar manager. Just about survived at Everton. And you're going to give him the Chelsea job again. Like the first time he got the t Chelsea job, it made sense because no manager wanted the job because they had a transfer ban. And now no manager wants the job and Lampard's back, bro. So again, it kind of makes sense. Like no one else wanted that job. So like Chelsea fans can try and make it out that, oh yeah, like we're just putting things in place. But bro, you could have kept Potter there for one more game or let him take the lashes from Real Madrid and then sacked him off the back of losing to Real Madrid. And then you can make it out that, you know what? The last straw was you got smoked by Real Madrid 8-0 on aggregate. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that would have made more sense. And by then, <laughs> I've got someone lined up. Mm. But to bring this brother in as a stopgap made no fucking sense, bruv. Like, none. If you were planning to bring someone else in anyway, bro, because... Money is not the issue for Chelsea to bring in managers. You could offer Enrique whatever he wants financially now. He will come now. You don't have to wait till the summer. He knows that he's got a free hit to the end of the season. He can, as yeah, a manager, I, I might yeah, even, yeah, I might want to come in now. Which players he doesn't want going forward. Exactly. Yeah. See these guys in training. Pre-season, pre isn't it? Well, there you go. Right. I'll come in, treat it as pre-season. See the guys in training. See what everyone's attitude's like. See what people's fitness is like. See how they handle themselves. See what their personality is like. Who I like, who I'm going to get on with, who I don't. And then in the summer, make an informed decision. Similar to what I said Ralph Rannick was going to do at Man United. And he did. My man was at Man United. My man had a big dossier yeah, of all the players that he was, he was like, you know what? He said you need open heart surgery. Yeah, bro. He said, bro, you need 10 men in the summer, bro. These men are shit. You know, like that. And even though people got upset about it, like he came in and he actually was looking at everyone like day in day out and deciding who needed to stay who needed to leave and that's exactly what a manager could have been doing at Chelsea instead you're going to give it to Lampard Mount's going to get a new deal all these other things are going to, and then he's going to get fucking sacked anyway bruv do you know what I mean he's going to get sacked anyway they're going to say oh thank you for what you've done that you can leave but really he's going to get sacked because he's not going to achieve anything there's no danger of Lampard achieving anything at Chelsea this is why you might as well have given this time to another manager that can actually take this time and use it for something positive. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, hundred percent true, man. But th this Proper is this is, time this. this is the route they're going down. They they ain't got no clue what they're doing. And do you know what's mad is when he when he gave the job to Potter, I thought, okay, well they obviously want a style of play, mm. yeah, and with the money and the style of play, they could dominate. And it, it was just a mess. He couldn't get a style of play and they fucking spunk money on shit. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. Like, how the fuck are they getting rid of Mudrick now? <laughs> like, where's he going? Nobody's going to pay for him. Loan him out, bruv, to Shakhtar or something. You know Vitesse what I mean? Vitesse Arnhem. Loan him to Vitesse, man. Like, just loan him out. Boy. <laughs> It's smelly, bruv. It's absolutely smelly. And this is what I mean. And now Chelsea are like, bro, they're prime AFTV now. Someone sent me this. I haven't watched this either. Let's watch this, bruv. Shout out, Lewis. In transition, especially in the second half, because of that. Oh, yeah, you can come on next, bro. No worries. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, bro. I hope you, sp I ho I hope you speak a lot better. That is two bog standard teams that have come into each other yep. and, and single each other out. Yep, mid off. What, Complete what, mid off. What are you going mad for? What are you going mad for? Because I'm talking about an individual, not the team. Overall, what the team. All, overall, the team was fine. Defensively, we were good. We were good in midfield. It was the attack that was poor. Yeah, defensively, good on Saturday, weren't we? No, we were better than we were on Saturday. Yeah, we lost 2 0, though. I'm not talking about Saturday. I'm talking about today. What's the <laughs> point? <laughs> you know, Sam, we're so much better than them or, or individuals. Hey, you, what we've got here is two bog standard. Let me bring Jerry in. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's a Liverpool fan. Jerry's a Liverpool fan. Oh, my mate's a Liverpool fan. Oh, mate's a Liverpool fan. Oh, right. That is two very average teams playing each other in a nil-nil draw. 
And we would have won that if our attack was we, better. We would never have won that. Yes, we, we would have. In all we made oh, how many more would chances you, did we be that? Evan? Did we be Aston Villa? I'm not talking about Everton or Villa. I'm talking about today's game. Judge it on today's game. Today's would you, game would you, was uh, better uh, going forward. Was you at the Aston Villa game? Yes, you I was. Right, was you at the Everton game? Yes, I was. Was you at Yes, I was. I've been so why should we be a better team than, than Liverpool? We had a better attack. Team. We are two very bog standard teams. teams. I'm shit. getting here, Jerry. I am. I am. I like Jerry in the <laughs> That's all that matters. You've got 11 versus 8. That's it. Very average team. If they want to buy Mason Mount for £70 million... Thank you very much. A 70 million, <laughs> 70 million pound yeah, profit. All right, okay. Yeah, okay. No, okay. You have a good one, mate. Yeah, sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> I just got carted off. Oh, 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 I said, all right, let's set up. I just moved it out of the way. Oh, Lewis there have been, bro, like pouring his heart out, and then this brother comes in it off the sauce, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cooking shit. That was too bang This is why I don't teams. miss going to football, man, because these men are off their Fucking nuts. Yeah, a man bro. like Jerry, man. Yeah, let me bring Jerry in. <laughs> yeah, I'm just fucking Jerry. Jerry. You know what I'm saying? Like, man was like, oh, where you at this game? Where you at that game? Jerry, Jerry, fuck off. <laughs> nah, but, uh... Man said, where you at the Villa game? Yes, I was, bruv. What, you saying what? What, I don't go games on that. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, man's not at all the games, you know. Man said, we at the Villa game, try to catch man out, you know. Like, yeah, you but you were Everton. Your... Yes, I was. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Like, you were off your nut. You know what I mean? Sniffed out, bruv. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, man, it's, hey, nah, it's crazy, blood. Their fan base is finished, blood. Mate, like, this, this is prime is viewing, actually, though, man. man. It's prime viewing. It's like prime AFTV. It's like they've just fast forwarded. They said, mm. fuck doing all the build up to the, the meltdown. Let's just go straight meltdowns. Straight. But that's what I mean, brother. I ain't got no time for these guys, bro. That man's trying to come in. Like, man's doing his fine cam. Mind your own business, you dickhead, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And then when you come in, you didn't even contribute anything to the conversation. Like, man's talking about other games, bro. Like, nah, we're talking about this game. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And and this is what it was. Like, Chelsea could have beat Liverpool in that game. Liverpool are shit. It just is, especially um, away from home, they are shit, bro. Mm. So it's one of them ones they could have beat them. So when man's talking about, oh, the Aston Villa, who cares about the Aston Villa game? These men are finished. And that is the average football fan, bro. When you go to these games, these men are off their head, bro. They're sourced off their head. They don't know, <laughs> they don't know what's going on, you know. They, they, they don't know what's going on. And then you expect these guys, bro. These are the same guys on Twitter running agendas on people, bro. And they don't know what's going on in there. They don't know what's going on in the game. They're finished. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's, it's it's funny to watch, though. I can't lie. The way that he got carted off at the end. It was yeah, like, that's like, all right, this, this is enough for you now, isn't it? Like, fucking hell, go sober up, you know. 